in lane five. That's Tooks. Tooks in fives in the green top. Just was outside in six is Dylan Penson. And it's going to be Ian Tooks taking the W here in the boys' 110. Legends Classic here at Morehouse College. Here we go, girls, 100 meter hurdles. Athletes down in lane five. Jaden Billings out of Kirby Strong door inside is Matthew Cooper. Down the outside in red though is Ricky Jennings. A tight race across the finish line. We'll await the official results on that one as my man point is perfect to see it right down that finish line. Madeline Cooper though in lane four is your winner. 13.53 for Cooper. With Ricky Jennings on the runner-up spot at 13.56 and Jaden Billings 13.58. to catch Maurice Gleaton Jr. 10-1-9. The winning time there for Gleaton Jr. 10-1-9. And with that whistle, that means we are ready to go now. In the girls' 100 meters, let's meet the athletes. Starting in lane one, Jordan Washington. In lane two, Sage Demerit. Lane three, Sol Frederick. Lane four, Mariah Campbell. Lane five is Bobby Olive. Lane six, Sana Frederick. 
In lane seven, Nakia Jamont. And in lane eight, Tania Kendricks. actually vacant, so we'll have one through seven. And yeah, really quickly now, towards the outside of the track, in all black, that's in lane five, Bobby Olive. And a late charge there in six by Frederick will wait the official times here as they cross the finish line. Indeed, son of Frederick, final 40 meters there, outstanding, finishing 11.41. Soul Frederick at 11.50, and rounding out the top three, Bobby Olive, 11.67. housekeeping ask of the hurdle crew if you wouldn't mind please loading the hurdles onto the carts hurdle crew please And at first glance, it does appear that lanes one and seven will be vacant. That means to Kendra Daniel and Jada Bugs are not in the competition. we go girls 400 meters again lanes one and seven are vacant but moving incredibly well in lane five looks like madison gardner she's in the white headband out in the lead now making him stagger to her outside on janae moore madison gardner half lap to go gardner into her outside is moore Gardner and Moore as they come off the final band into the home stretch. Madison Gardner now with a half stride lead. And on the outside, Jimmy Moore now starting to fight back and she's pulling into the lead. In a lane six, that's going to be Janae Moore. Moore's time, 53-15 to Madison Gardner as the runner-up position, 53-50. Malia Campbell finishing in third, 55-09.
ready to go now with our next event on the track. This will be the boys, 400 meters. It does appear that lanes two and seven are vacant. So here are the athletes we see on the track right now. In lane one, Altavion Grant. In lane three, Cole Struther. In lane four, Ricky Williams. In five, C.D. M.G. In six, Matthew Strickland. And out of lane eight, Malachi Fletcher. On robot. Away we go. Getting out incredibly fast on the outside. Malachi Fletcher in eight, but down earlier in lane six, it appears, or in five, CDNG. Matthew Strickland. As we round the bend here and start the journey to home in lane five, that's CDNG with about a five stride gap on the next best athlete in the field, which is down lane four, Ricky Williams. CDNG though, continuing to pull away. And a masterful victory here in the boys 400 meters. Blistering time, 45-67 for CDNG. And Ricky Williams in the runner-up spot, 47-03. Cole Struther finishing in bronze position, 47-24. Absolutely. So you're going to college next year, ran a PR. What has you most excited to compete in the NCAA and represent the University of Miami? Um, really just doing the sport I love. I have a really good support system, so I'm just glad to go out there and compete. And what does it mean for you to support your support system while you're in college and eventually after college, maybe you want to run pro? How does it feel for you to go out there and compete at a high level? It means the world to me. I hope I can do it someday. And I'm just really excited. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Janae, your winner in the Girls 400. And congrats, NCAA 400 meter champion while at Texas, and a world championship qualifier at 800 meters in 2022 from Jamaica, Chris Ann Gordon Powell. Wearing him 11, a U.S. indoor runner up in 2022, Olivia Baker. Wearing at 12, four-time NAIA champion at Milligan, the European Junior Bronze Medalist back in 2017 from Great Britain, Hannah Seagrave. And wearing at 13, All-American while at Arkansas, this is Shafiqwa Maloney. Jada Griffin will be our pacer today. Everybody running in lanes until they break for the rail on the far side of the track. And we've got our pacer out there. Okay. 
As we hit the first 400 meters, it'll be about 57.5. Shippy Pomoloni still out there leading. Then we're back to Ajay Wilson. And now a bit of a mix up there. We've got Kenny Coleman now moving up on the outside. And making a move on the inside of track. That was Kate Grace, though, getting bumped around a little bit and shut off that angle. Olivia Baker now making a move. She's in the all red on the outside. Maloney, though, still your leader with about a five meter gap. Back to Kendra Coleman, Olivia Baker, and Kate Grace. On to the home stretch we come. Maloney, Olivia Baker, Kate Grace now making a big move down the outside. The race at this point looks like it's for second. Looks like Kate Grace is going to pull up on the outside of Baker. Maloney takes the win under two minutes, and there goes Kate Grace. Six. Let's get these athletes introduced here. Wearing hit one, the Atlantic Sun Conference champion in six of the NCAAs in 2021 while at Lipscomb. He holds the indoor American record over 1,000 meters set back in 2022 from the United States, Shane Strike. Wearing hit two, Pac-12 champion last year at Washington, Sam Ellis. Wearing hit three, and American Games bronze medalist a year ago, the national record holder of Jamaica. Navaski Anderson. Wearing it for BYU All-American, Abe Alvarado. And it does appear that the next athlete, I believe he is absent, but if not, it's 2023 NCAA champion while at Georgia, Will Sumner. Wearing it six, the Rio Olympian, seventh at the Commonwealth Games in 2022, with the national record holder of Ghana, Alex Amunkwa. Wearing it seven, the 2018 U.S. Junior Champion, Josh Hoey. Wearing it nine, the semifinalist in last year's outdoor championships, Luciano Fiore. Wearing it ten, the fifth at the South American Championships in 2021, representing Guyana, Wamel Prince. Pan American Games silver medalist a year ago, world championship and Olympic Games semifinalist, is the Mexican national record holder, Tanatu Lopez. And just like the women, they'll run in lanes until they hit the cones on the back stretch and then break for the rail. Pace on the outside in white. And it's a fight for the lead there. Abe Alvarado in the blue in the middle of that front group. That looks like Lugoski Anderson of Jamaica. So working his way up there on the inside. And Pacer now Mark starting to move out to the outside with Anderson in that lead position and Abe Alvarado in the old blue. Less than a lap to go. Anderson and Alvarado still your top two.
Lopez ultimately winning the race there. The Mexican national record holder running 145.79. Amonqua of Ghana finishing runner-up position 146.18. And Quimel Prince of Guyana finishing in third 146.23. Wearing hit five, world championship bronze medalist in 2023, world championship silver medalist in 2019, Olympic silver medalist in Tokyo, and the world indoor champion in 2018, Kenny Harrison. Sneaking in there for that runner-up position at 12.63 with Christina Clemens sitting in third, 12.65. 2022 and a silver medalist in 2023 in the heptathlon for the United States, Anna Hall. Anna Lane 3, five-time Costa Rican champion, fifth at the World Championships in 2019, Andrea Vargas. Anna Lane 4. 2023 Asian champion from China, Lin Yue. In five, an SEC runner-up and All-American at Texas A&M, Kayla Robinson. In lane six, South Carolina All-American, Destiny Rocker. In lane seven, seventh the Olympic Games in Tokyo, world indoor bronze medalist in 2022 from the United States, Gabby Cunningham. Vargas looking very good over the hurdles there from start to finish. And indeed, it is Andrea Vargas of Costa Rica, 1297 the time over Destiny Decathlon and Eugene. He was just in the long jump competition for the United States, Kyle Garland. In lane two, an NCAA finalist at Tennessee, fifth in the Pan American Games last year from the Cayman Islands, Rasheem Brown. In lane three, U.S. indoor runner-up and world indoor semifinalist, Cameron Murray. In lane four, a NIAC champ at Howard University last year from the United States, Dylan Beard. In lane five, an SEC champ at LSU, fourth of the U.S. Outdoor Championships last year, Eric Edwards. In lane six, a 2022 NCAA Division II champion at Pittsburgh State, Lewis Rollins. Lane seven, All-American at Clemson from Jamaica, LaFrance Campbell. And finally in lane eight, a 2019 NCAA Division II champ at Minnesota State Mankato, Miles Hunter.
three in lane four. That's Dylan Beard. But down on lane three now, Cameron Murray. He's in the gray. Also pushing strong is Eric Edwards in the pink headband. This is going to be a tight one across that finish. <laughs> A year ago, Dwayne Asamoda in lane three, a two-time NCAA indoor 200-meter champion at the University of Georgia, a gold medalist in the mixed 4 by 400 meter relay at the World Championships, Matthew Bowling. In lane four, an All-American at Florida, P.J. Austin. In lane five, two-time national champion, world indoor semi-finalist this year for the British Virgin Islands, McCoy Braithwaite. In lane six, world indoor bronze medalist in 2018 and fifth at the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Ronnie Baker. In lane seven, two-time Olympian, Pan American Games bronze medalist in 2019 from Antigua, C.J. Green. And the outside in lane eight, three-time NCAA champion at Houston, Elijah Hall. Running now, the women's 400 meters. In the middle 
the track. A Nasser of Bahrain. She's in the red. She's moving very well down the back strip, ha having made up the stagger now already on Bailey Lear. Also out in lane seven, Quanira Hayes moving incredibly well. Half lap to go. Nassar of Bahrain in the red, in the middle of the track. Hayes on the outside. She's got the ribbon in her hair. Into the home stretch we come. Middle of the track in red in lane number five. That's Nasser. Now Planera Hayes moving up on the outside. We also have some movement in lane three. Palabaran. An incredibly close finish there in the women's 400. But taking it on the outside in lane seven, Quanira Hayes is your champion, 50-88. Lane four, U.S. Indoor Champion this year, Brian Faust. In lane five, seventh at the U.S. Outdoor Championships last year, third indoors this year. This is Chris Bailey. And in lane six from the Bahamas, a 2018 Bahamian champion, Olympic semifinalist in Tokyo, Alonzo Russell. In lane seven, U.S. indoor runner-up this year from the United States, Ja'Cory Patterson. In lane eight, eighth at the World Championships in 2022 from Barbados, Jonathan Jones. That's your field in the men's 400 meters. indoor champion this year. Also in lane six, Alonzo Russell. Corey Patterson actually in the green there. With the stagger, things starting to stack up here as they come off the final bend into the home stretch. In lane five, it looks like Chris Bailey now pulling up into the lead. Corey Patterson sitting in the second position along with Faust battling for runner-up. But it's going to be Chris Bailey taking the win there in the men's 400 meters. 44-42. Corey Patterson finishing runner-up 45-19. And Brian Faust in third position 45-30. Let's go back to the infield now as we honor another one of our legends. Bobby Kersey, the name just resonates with greatness. Arguably the most prolific sprint coach in history. Bobby's contribution to this sport. Is we could not do this sport without you. Without coaches, you all are self selflessly giving the time, your money, your house. <laughs> everything um, to these athletes. You've been coaching for over 40 years. Again, all of the names, we, we can't even, you, how many medals? We can't even name. <laughs> you know, I've just been blessed. Uh, and first, the only reason why I've been successful is because one, I've had great parents, and that's the move with the adult athletes uh, coming to high school to college to, to play with me. And I've had uh, blessed athletes that, that trusted in me, uh, that tolerated me, uh, that tolerated me still. I've got a couple of things to say about a couple of my athletes today that I think they don't know me. Uh, but uh, well, seriously, I've just been blessed. I've just uh, 
grateful that I've been the successful, but my success has come from other people helping me along the way, and, uh, and particularly the parents. That the parents have been in my life that has really trusted me and left with me with their children that have uh, asked me to watch over them, to protect them, to take care of them. And uh, with that trust, I've been trying to do my job. Absolutely. Doing your job is an understatement. You have a crew of athletes going into the Paris Games this summer. What are you looking forward to most when you are par preparing for the Olympics and you're preparing for a championship? How do you continue to guide these athletes to remain calm and focused on the ultimate goal, which is bringing home that Olympic gold medal? Well, I think the number one thing the pressure have to say is to win our team is the hardest thing in the world to do. And uh, we always talk about bringing home the gold but it starts in our USA Olympic uh, trials. Uh, that is the toughest thing. That is the number one in the world. I've been all over the world, uh, from China to New England. But we come down to our US Olympic track and field uh, team to try to make that team nice. Uh, and so it starts there. And I'm really looking forward to going up to Eugene and have my athletes ready to represent the United States uh, for those that make it. Uh, and that's what I'm Any players in the game, you can get it. Any coaches on the field, you can get it. Any parents in the stands, you can get it. I ain't playing, you can get it. My old team certified, I don't hang with phonies. If you can't make practice, you're not my homie.